All right. Now, so you must change all mixed numbers to improper fractions before you can multiply, and you do not have to have a common denominator. So, for example, the problem I told you to wrote, write down, we had problem number 16. Problem number 16 says 4 and 4, 14 fifteenths times 1 and 7 thirty-eighths. Okay? So, remember how to change a, fra a mixed number into an improper fraction. I'm going to take 4 times 15, which is equal to 60. I'm going to add 14 to it, which is equal to 74. So, I'm going to put 74 over 15. Okay, times 1 times 38 equals 38. 38 plus 7 equals 45. So, 45 over 38. Okay, now we can cross cancel. Remember, we talked about this in seventh grade. Here, remember, we said the Jimmy Neutron deal. Okay, you're basically looking to see if there is any common factors between 74 and 38. Is there any common yes. factors? What? No. What? Two. Two. Mm -hmm. Two will go into both numbers. 2 goes into 74, 37 times. 2 goes into 38, 19 times. Now we look at the other two numbers, 15 and 45. Is there a common factor between 15 and 45? Five, but what's larger? 15. 15 goes into 15 once. 15 goes into 45 three times. So now on top, then, I have 37... 37 times 3, and I have 1 times 19. Okay. 3 times 37 is going to be 111 over 19. Now, I have to change the improper fraction to a mixed number. So I have to take and divide 19 into 111. Okay, uh, let's see, five times, I think, five times would be five, be five times nine would be 45, carry my four, five times one is five plus the four would be 95, and that would be 16. So take the 16, put it over the 19, so five and 16 nineteenths. Why did I what? So now this one, negative 7 and 1 over 11 times 5 and 1 over 24. Now, an estimate here would be if we take, what is 7 times 5? 35. 35. So we've got to have at least an answer that is greater than 35. Okay? So we still do the same thing. We take 7 times 11, which is 77, plus 1, which is 78. So 78 over 11 times. Same thing here. 5 times 24. 5 times 24 is 120. Plus 1 would equal 121. So that would be 121 over... 24. Okay, now we have 78. We know between 24 and 78, what can I divide by? 2 again. So that 24 divided by 2 is 12. 78 divided by 2 is 39. Okay, now is there a common factor between 11 and 121? 11. Okay, so 11 goes into 11 once, 11 into 121, 11 times. 
minutes. Now on top, then I have 39 times 11. On bottom, I have 1 times 12. So that is equal to 429 over 12. Okay, so now I got to divide 12 into 429 to get a mixed number. We said that it would be somewhat close to 35. Okay, um, also remember that this is a negative here. Okay, so that's a negative 39. So 12 goes into 42 three times, be 36. Remainder 6, bring down my 9. Three, uh, three, uh, excuse me, 12 into 69. Goes five times, be 60. Take the 9, put it over the 12. So it's 35 and 9 twelfths, but the 9 can be reduced by 3. 3 into 9 goes 3 times, 3 into 12 goes 4 times. So negative 35 and 3 fourths. Reason it's negative. Why is it negative? Yeah, because it's just a ne one negative sign. Okay. I want you to try this one on your own. Negative three and three twentieths times negative two and 14 over 23. They have it are in parentheses, but the, like I said, the parentheses doesn't matter. So do that one on your own. I'll give you a minute or so to do it. Joshua, what'd you get? What? Okay, think. Seriously, okay. What's negative three times two? What's ne excuse me, what's negative three times negative two? Six. Okay. So how would you logically get sixty if three times two is six? Not any way. Okay, so you've done something wrong somewhere. Okay. So that's how you can check your work to see if you what what do you get? No. It's closer. It's closer than sixty, but no. Haley, I think that's right, but it's not negative. No, you missed it. Just barely. It's not just the negative sign. Gracie, negative what? Negative eight nine over thirteen. Eighty nine over thirteen? I don't know. Not thirteen. All right, let's look at it. So obviously you were having a little trouble with it. So let's look at it. First of all, we got to change this one to an improper fraction. So you have 3 times 20 is equal to 60 plus 3, 63. So that's 63 over 20 times. That's negative. Times, you have 2 times 23, which is 46, plus 14, which is 60. So you have 60 over 23, and that's a negative. Okay. Now, you can cross cancel. 20 goes into 20 once, 20 into 60 three times. So on top I have negative 63 times negative 3 over 1 times 23. Okay, so that's 189 over 23. It's a positive 189 because you have two negatives. Now I divide 23 into 189. Okay. Uh, it looks to go... It's going to go six times, seven times, eight times. Eight times three is four, carry my two. 8 times 2 is 16, plus 2 would be eight, uh, eight, 18. So that's minus 4 minus 9 is 5. Take that 5, put it over the 23. So 8 and 5 over 
Do what? I don't have a 10. I don't know where you got 10 at. Well, but you, I, it's the same as me, but instead of having, instead of having three up here, that would be a six, and this would have to be a two. And so you'd have two times twenty-three, which is forty-six. Okay, and then on top you'd have sixty-three times six. Huh? Right, and you divide. 46 and 378, you're still going to get 8 and 5 over 23 if you reduce it right. You have 378 and you divide it by 46. Okay, it's still going to be 8 regardless. That's 8, carry my 4, 36. Okay, so that's 10 over 46. 8 and 10 over 46, you divide by 2, 5, 23. So either way, you're still going to get the same answer. Just makes it a little bit, you have to take that extra step if you don't reduce it all the way to begin with. So what if we have this? Five sixteenths times negative thirty six. Okay. Another one we're gonna look at or not look at. When they have the second one there, negative eighteen, parentheses eight and eight over nine, that's negative eighteen times eight over nine. Okay, it's not eighteen and eight ninths, it's not like it's a fraction all together. It's eighteen times 8 over 9. Okay? Same thing we do here. Be 5 over 16 times 36 over 1. Okay? Can I cross cancel? Yes. 4 goes into that 4 times. 4 goes into 36 9 times. 5 times 9 on top. 4 times 1 on bottom. 5 times 9 is 45, 4 times 1 is 4. So I divide 4 into 45. 4 goes into 45, 4 goes into 4 once. Be 4, 0, bring down your 5. 4 into 5 goes once, be 4, remainder 1, put it above the 4. So 11 and 1 fourth. Now, it was one negative, so it's a negative. Don't, and this is where people make, you know, make their mistakes is they forget to include that in your answer. Okay, like I almost did. So that's a negative 11 and 1 fourth. Okay, you must change all the mixed numbers to improper fractions first. Now, um, let's look at one that has, just like we've been talking about, that has the variables in it. 16b over 7 times 35b to the third over 4. Okay, we can still cross cancel. Now, to look at the 16 and the 4. Is there a common factor between the 16 and the 4? Okay, 4. 4 goes into 4 once. 4 goes into 16 four times. Now we can look at the 7 and the 35. 7 goes into 7 once. 7 into 35 goes five times. So on top I have 4 times B 
times 5 times b to the third. On bottom, I have 1 times 1. So the two b's I can put together, and the, and the 4 and the 5 I can put together. So basically, I can do this. Okay, what is 4 times 5? 20. Times B to the what? Fourth. Because there's a 1 and we must add the exponents together. Now, a lot of you on your test, you said, well, I add the exponents, so all of a sudden that 4 multiplication sign times 5 turns into 4 plus 5 for some reason. And you put 9 B to the fourth. I don't know why you did that. I guess you just thought, well, it's just simpler to add everything since I have to add part of it. Okay, but that's some of the careless mistakes you made on your test. We're instead of going 4 times 5, you went 4 plus 5, you got 9. Obviously, it's not 9. Okay. Um, what about this one here? A, B over 4 times 2a to the 5th b over 9. Okay, as we look at the 9 in here, there's nothing in front of the a that cancels, so I can't cross-cancel. We look at the 4 and the 2, what can I cross-cancel with 4 and 2? 2. two. So 2 goes into 4 2 times, 2 goes into 2 1 time. So on top I have 1 times A times B times A to the 5th times B. On bottom I have 2 times 9. So I can rearrange the top. 1 I don't have to carry because it's, it's 1 and it doesn't, make, it doesn't affect the the answer. So you use the commutative property on the top and rearranged and put the similar terms closer together. I have a times a to the fifth. What is a times a to the fifth? a to the sixth. And b times b? b to the second over 18. a to the sixth times b to the second over 18. Huh? What, about the one? what is 1 times A? a. Oh. So I don't need it. Doesn't change the answer, or I multiplied it. If you want to say it that way, I multiplied it times A and got rid of it. Getting all this, Anthony? Looks like you're really busy there. Okay, let's say you had three numbers, the three fractions that you're multiplying. So 2 to the third, 2 over 3, times negative 9 over 10, times 7 over 12. Now, remember, you do not have to have common denominators when you're multiplying. Since they're already, all of them are proper fractions, so I can just cross-cancel where it's possible. Okay? You have 2 goes into 2 once, 2 goes into 10 five times. Okay? 3 goes into 3 once, 3 goes into 9 three times. So on top, I'm not done yet, but I want to show you what we have so far. 1 times negative 3 times 7 on top. On bottom, I have 1 times 5 times 12. Okay, I'm not done yet. 3 goes into 12 four times. 3 goes into 3 one time. So now I have 1 times negative 1 times 7 on top, 1 times 5 times 4 on bottom. So on top that gives me negative 7. On bottom it gives me 20. 
So negative 7 over 20. Let's look at number 21. 21 says you want to paint a wall that is 8 and 3 fourths feet high and 11 and 1 fourth feet long. You have a can of paint that will cover 200 square feet with one coat. Find the area A, find the area of the wall. So what is area of a square? How, huh? What is the area for a square? Haley, since you're you're doing your artwork there, huh? Area of a square. Yeah, the area of a square, huh? No. What is the formula for the area of a square? Multiply length times width. Yes. Area is equal to length times width. They said on this wall, what is the length? Number 21, what is the length? 11 and 1 fourth. What's the width? 8 and 3 fourths. Okay, so i got to multiply area equal to 11 and 1 fourth times 8 and 3 fourths. So I have to make them improper fractions. So that's area is equal to 45 over 4 times 35 over 4. Wait, 11 times 4 is 44, plus 1, make it 45 over 4. 8 times 4 is 32, plus 3 would be 35 over 4. There is no cross-canceling that you can do, so I'm just going to take 45 times 35 on top, 4 times 4 on bottom, which gives me 16 on bottom. What's it give me on top? One thousand. Okay, so we have that times that. Be five two two twenty five be zero five one thirteen. Yeah, fifteen seventy five. So fifteen seventy five over sixteen. Okay, listen to me. When you divide that out, you get ninety eight and seven sixteenths feet squared. Now, they have said that one can of paint covers 200 square feet. Okay, so you're going to have to do the part B when you do your homework. Your homework is this, 8, so 5.4, 8 through 32. Okay, you may go.